IP2. Welcome back to IP English Time. Today is Thursday. So are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. So P2, you will need to turn to page 59 in your class book. Yesterday, we had homework. So please take out your notebook and pencil and let's check your answers. Okay, so you have to circle the correct answer. So number one, where's where are mum and dad? Where's member is one person, where are is two people. So number one is where are. Give yourself a tick if you got this correct. Number two, where's or where are Billy? Which one is it? And the correct answer is, where's, for where's Billy? Where's Billy? Billy is one person. Give yourself a tick. Okay, number three, where's, or where are my cousins? Now remember P2, when an S is at the end of the word cousins, it means two or more. So which is the correct answer? The correct answer is, where are my cousins? Okay, and number four, which I apologise, is where's or where are grandma? Grandma is one or two people. One, very good. So the answer is where's. Give yourself a tick if you got this correct. Very good, well done. Okay, today's topic is about is or are when asking a question about rooms in the house. So let's have a look. This is Rosie. How many of Rosie? One or two? One. Very good. So, one person equals is. One person equals is. Right, let's have a look at the second picture. We have grandma and grandpa. How many people? Let's count together. One, two, grandma and grandpa. Two people, we say, are. Two people, we say, are. Okay. Now, if we have a look, Let's complete the gap fill. So let's have a look at the name. Rosie, is that one or two people? One, very good. So what do we say? Is or are? We say is is 
Rosie. Rosie, one person. Okay, let's have a look. Something, Grandma and Grandpa. So, how many people? Grandma and Grandpa. Two. Two people. So, do we say, is Grandma and Grandpa? Or, are Grandma and Grandpa? And the answer is, are Grandma and Grandpa? Repeat, are Grandma and Grandpa? Okay, all right. Now we're going to learn about is and are. Okay, so let's have a look at the picture. Do you remember it's, what room is it? It's the bedroom. And the sentence says, Billy, in the bedroom. Let's have a look. There's Billy. Hi, Billy. Billy in the bedroom. How many of Billy? One or two? One. Billy, is it is or are? Is. Very good. And the sentence is, is Billy in the bedroom? Repeat P2. Is Billy in the bedroom? Very good. Okay, let's have a look at the picture. What room is this? Do you remember? It's the dining room. Well done. Now, let's read the sentence. Grandpa and Grandma in the dining room. Hmm. How many people? Grandpa and Grandma. Two. Two people. Correct. So, how do we ask the question? Is it, is grandma, Grandpa and Grandma? Or are Grandpa and Grandma? And the answer is, are. Very good. Are grandpa and grandma in the dining room? Repeat. Are grandpa and grandma in the dining room? Is Rosie in the kitchen? Hmm. Repeat. Is Rosie in the kitchen. Very good. Right. Is she in the kitchen? No. Let's see what happens next. Okay, have a look at the picture. It's a garden. Well done. Okay, so let's have a look at the sentence. It says, Mom and Dad in the garden. Hmm. Mom and Dad in the garden. Okay. Mom and Dad, how many people? One and two. 
two people. So what goes here? What do we say? Are mum and dad in the garden? Very good. Repeat. Are mum and dad in the garden? Good job. Right, P2. Now we are going to learn about is, which is positive, and isn't, which is negative. So let's start. So here we have one person and we would say, is she a she or a he? She. So, yes, she is positive. And the negative would be, no, she isn't. Repeat, no, she isn't. Okay. Now, what do we see, boy or girl? Boy, well done. He or she? He, okay. So the positive would be, yes, he is. Repeat, yes, he is. And the negative would be, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. Repeat, no, he isn't. Well done. Okay. So, let's have a look. Okay. So how many people are here? One or two? Let's count together. One, two, two people. When we have two people, we say they, they. Repeat, they. Okay. So, the positive, we say, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Repeat, yes, they are. Very good. No, for they is aren't, okay? So we say for negative, for they, we say, no, they aren't. No, they aren't. Repeat, no, they aren't. Very good. So two people, we say they. Okay, so now I want us to answer the question using is, isn't, are and aren't. So let's have a look at the sentence. It says, is Billy in the bedroom? Hmm, is Billy in the bedroom? Yes. Now, is Billy a boy or a girl? Boy. So, he or she? He. Now, Billy is one or two? One. So what do we say? Is. 
or isn't? Is Billy in the bedroom? Yes, he is. Very good. Let's repeat. Yes, he is. Okay, well done. Right. So let's have a look at the picture. And we have, and now let's have a look at the question. And the question is, are grandpa and grandma in the dining room? Are grandpa and grandma in the dining room? One or two people? Two, very good. So, are they in the dining room? Yes. And there are two people. And what do we say for two people? They. Yes, they are or aren't. Are. Okay, repeat. Yes, they are. Have a look at the room. What room is it? It's the living room. Okay, well done. So, let's have a look at the sentence. Is Rosie in the kitchen? Hmm. Well, first of all, is Rosie in the kitchen? No. So we would say, no. Is Rosie a boy or girl? Girl. He or she? She. So no, she. So Rosie is one or two people? One. So is the answer is or isn't? And the question is, is Rosie in the kitchen? No, she isn't. Repeat, no, she isn't. Okay, good job. Right, last one. Let's have a look at the question. Are mum and dad in the garden? Can you see mum and dad in the garden? Can you see them? Are they there? So, let's answer the question. No. Now, mum and dad, one or two people? Two, correct. We say they. So, no, they are? No, they aren't. Repeat, no, they aren't. Very good. Okay, it's homework time, P2. So take out your notebook and your pencil and write down the numbers one, two, three. Okay, look at the house. We have many rooms. So let's say hello to who lives there. Okay, say hello to Grandpa. We have Grandma. Who are these? Mom and Dad. Oh, who's this? Rosie. Hello, Rosie and Billy. Hello. So, we have rooms in a house 
and people who live there. So have a look which room they are in. We have Billy in the bathroom, mum and dad in the living room, and grandpa, grandma and Rosie all together in the kitchen. Okay, so for homework, please complete the sentences. For example, have a look at the picture. What room is it and who is in there? So the question is, is Rosie in the kitchen? And the answer is, is Rosie in the kitchen? Yes. She is. Yes, she is. All right. Now I'd like you to complete number one. Number two. And number three. And I will see you on Monday to review the answers. So for now, P2, I would just like to say goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye.